What is up, Karatex? Welcome to another video. This will be customizing the brand new Denka Ballista Conjo in GTA Online. This car officially released today, February 20th, 2020, at about 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So the price of this car is 580000 without the trade price. And with the trade price, you get it under half a million dollars, which I think is not too bad, all things considering. You know, because we have so many different vehicles in, that came out in this DLC, and most of them are over a million dollars. So, honestly, in the 400s, I don't think it's awful obviously it's still a civic but i think it's decently reasonable um this car is in the compacts class i already bought it and here it is right here looks very good and i do apologize if i sound different guys i am sick so <laughs> please bear with me here um but yeah this car looks great um i went ahead and parked the uh, segoy next to it which was the vehicle we got last week so this one is based off the uh, EK8 Civic Type R, and then this one's based off the uh, EK9 Honda Civic Type R. So we pretty much got the first and the newest gen of the Type R, which I think is pretty cool. And um, some people will say that this car is not like fully Type R, but I mean, I think most of the stock options, especially the rear sporter, kind of emphasizes the fact that it, it they were trying to go for more of a Type R, which I think looks great. I went ahead and parked the regular Blista over here, and the Blista Compact, which is in the sports class. The Briozo, which is currently the fastest vehicle in the Compact's class. And of course the Asbo, which was the only other Compact class vehicle we got in the update. So this is the second uh, Compact class vehicle we got. And I'm, I'm hoping it beats the Briozo, once we do the testing later on, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But let's go ahead and hit right on the D-pad to customize. What are you looking for? What do you want? Alright. Armor, brakes, bumpers. We got a half splitter, which I think looks pretty cool because it kind of accents the grill. I think that's pretty nice. Then you got a full, which goes all the way across. Then you got sticker bomb. Then you got street bumper, which gives you these uh, vents on the side, which I think look great. Then you got the track bumper with the canards. Then you got this one with double canards. Then you got the lightened bumper with the Whatever holes. You then you got more holes <laughs> and canards. Oh my. Then you got the highway racer bumper. Wow, these keep getting different. <laughs> crazier and crazier as we go along. Time attack. Jesus. Wow. That's, uh... I wonder if that actually clips on posts. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one, the street bumper, I like this one. Body go with that. Got rear bumper. So the first option here is the I primary uh, colored stock one. Then you got a subway ring, which is basically like a tow hook, which I think looks cool. Then we got primary, and then you got sticker bomb. Then we got lightened with half the bumper, well, the bumper trim missing. Then you got lightened bumper and diffuser. Street, SLP. Okay, highway, light and track bumper, alright, time attack, oh my, and then you have the stripped and small diffuser, okay, so if you want to remove the whole bumper, there you go, uh, wow, well then, okay, so I'm gonna go with the primary trim with the tow hook, I think that looks sick, Doors. You got wind deflectors. I'm not too much of a fan of wind deflectors. You know, it's something that's ball person preference based, but I'm not going to put that there. Exhaust. So you got dual exit, which is very similar to the stock one, just an extra tip. Then you got tuner exhaust, which is a titanium. Looks good. You got chrome tuner. You got track, which is a little. Oh, this one just sticks out a lot, which I'm not too much Life of a fan of. Yeah, the, all these stick out a lot. Chrome track. Performance also sticks out. Chrome performance. Big bore. Also sticks out. Chrome big bore. Blast pipes. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, I think the tuner exhaust is a good one. And, you know, the other ones, they just stick out too far. It just looks kind of weird to me. So I'm going to do the tuner. Fenders. Sticker bomb. Okay, so you can do sticker bomb front and rear. You can do a vented front fender, which I think is very nice, very subtle touch. 
can do a street fender, which uh, kind of gives you a very mild uh, wide body at the rear. Then you have a carbon uh, street fenders, so it's carbon front and rear. Then you have the track fenders, which is a little bit more Making of a wide body, so it's a little wider. Then you got carbon version of that. And then you got the race fenders, which is just really wide with a vent back here, which just looks crazy. A carbon version of that, and that's it there. So I'm gonna go with the vented front fender. Don't she look pretty? Grill, you got primary grill surround, you got debadged grill, then you got exposed intercooler, Denko intercooler, Denko with the white letters, intercooler with the water sprayer, and then the intercooler with the twin fans. So I, I do like the intercooler ones, but the only thing I don't really like too much is that it debadges it. So all of these are debadged except for the no top two, which kind of sucks. Um, but I mean, I guess since it says Dinka on the intercooler, it doesn't look too bad. So I guess I'm going to go with this one, the you white Dinka intercooler. Headlights, you got yellow headlights. That, that looks interesting. You got primary headlight covers, secondary. Then you got the primary headlight intake for the passenger side headlight. You got secondary, and then you got a carbon version of that. Not gonna touch that there. You got a hood bra. <laughs> okay. Secondary color hood. Sticker bomb. A rusty hood. Carbon. Then you got a lifted primary hood. I'm sure there's something that is that people do this in real life for some reason. I'm not into uh, civics and stuff, so I have no idea. <laughs> but definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Lifted secondary, lifted carbon, you and you got a street hood with the hood command. pins. You got a performance hood, again, with the hood pins. You got the race hood with the hood pins and the extra vents. Then you got, <laughs> you got giant turbo, which that just looks hilarious. And that's it. So, I mean, I'm, I know I'm going to get some flack for this, but <laughs> I'm going to put the big turbo on it. I think it looks kind of funny. Makes it look more like a drag Civic or something. I don't know. I think it just looks cool. So let's do that. Okay, lights. So the stock headlights are yellow. That's awesome. I'm going to leave that. So your liveries. You got street decals with the conjo on the back there. That's nice. You got the shopping list with the black conjo. I think there's something back here too. Yeah. What does that say? You suck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh jeez, Clubman Racer, with no look, with no number. That's surprising. It's like a blank number. And you got the total bucket, which is all rusted. <laughs> oh my goodness. You got the Outlaw Racer. I think this one looks pretty cool. You got the Highway Hunter. You got the Midnight Champion. Atomic Life Motorsport. You got the Globe Oil Racing. This one looks pretty sick. You have the Dinka race team, which is literally the Jester race car livery. That is so cool. Love that. You have the Retro Fukuru. Very nice. And then the shiny, you know, they always have the Wasabi <laughs> one for most of these cars. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do you need a drink? Um, I, mean, I do want to do some different stuff on this. I think I'm going to go with this one. And I think it'll look really cool, like a white primary. So I'm gonna inst I'm gonna put this on and I guess we'll see how it looks. License plate. So I did come prepared this time. Baby's all grown <laughs> up. I made this yesterday. Hopefully, if I find it, there it is. We got VTEC. We got VTEC. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, respray. I'm gonna do the primary. Let's do like a primary ice white that looks great that is very nice we'll also do a gray but that doesn't look that great so do the white looks almost as good as you. secondary secondary I can't tell what it's changing um, supposedly the secondary changes the mirrors but I think with the livery it kind of cancels that out so keep that in mind so I guess for now I'll just put white so it matches up your cosmetics are on point Crew emblem would go right there on the side of the door. Roll cage, you got a street half cage. It looks great. See the difference there. 
You got a track half cage with racing seats. That is awesome. And what I think is really cool is you can see how it says Blista on the seat in the, the center. I think that's so cool. You got the Dash Dodger cage, which extends stressful. you know more to this area. You got the padded version of that. You got the full roll cage. I think it's a little excessive. And then the padded full roll cage. I'm definitely going to go with the track half cage with the racing seats. I think that looks sick. You got roof. You got secondary. Sticker bomb. Carbon. <laughs> roof box. Oh my gosh. Roof rack. No rush at all. Okay. And then the, off to the track with a bunch of spare tires on the roof. Oh my goodness, Rockstar. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I think it's fine, that color. Side skirts, you got primary. So stock, I think it comes like plastic or something. You got secondary. You got sticker bomb skirts. Street skirts. Carbon, race, and then carbon. I'm not a fan of these with the little winglet back here. I think it's a little excessive. Um... But I guess I'll just go with the primary because it's painted. Rear spoiler, you got primary OEM wing. I think that's sick. Too slow, Mr. Policeman. Oh my god. <laughs> oh you boy. Desire. And make sure you Technology choose one of these because you can see the traction bar going up there in the bottom. You got secondary, you got sticker bomb, carbon, and then you got the the rice special. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then you got the primary flap, secondary, you got the street wing, the drift wing, the GT wing, the track, oh my gosh, oh jeez, time attack, street, oh my goodness, extreme performance, oh my gosh, these just keep getting more and more interesting, race wing, loop battle, and then a circuit master, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do the primary OEM. I think that's really nice. Do that. Sun strips. Not a fan of sun strips. Um, I think our racing looks pretty cool, but I don't know. I yeah, will throw it on there. Why not? Okay, suspension. You got lowered, street, sport, and the more, you know the camber special. <laughs> so this is another vehicle you can slam and camber out like the Asbo. So that's awesome. Um, personally, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go with the street. It's like lowered, but it's not, you know, cambered or slammed in. So let's do the street. Transmission. Trunk. Primary tr colored trunk. Okay. Secondary. Sticker bomb and carbon. I think definitely the primary. Turbo tuning, this definitely. Turbo wheels. So the stock wheels, um, there's a very similar option. Uh, to this wheel in the uh, tuner category all the way at the bottom. It's called the rally master You can see the, the difference there. It's basically the center cap and I guess the stock one's a little more flush the rally master has like a little bit more of like a dish on it um, But actually I'm gonna go with uh, I think I'm gonna go with these with with the endos in the Black I think that'll look great that that looks cool <laughs> it was like a little track drag car. That's awesome. Okay. Windows. Light smoke. Dark and limo. I'm going to do the light. And that's it. So we're all fully maxed out. Uh, let's see how this thing drives. I'm interested to see this. Okay. Let's rev it in first person. Good engine sound. Lots of wheel spin. Oh my god, you can barely even control it when you take off. Let's see? Wow, the handling is very, very sluggish. Kind of sways a lot. There's a little bit of input delay in the steering. It doesn't feel that fast. I think the Briozo still feels faster. I mean, the Briozo is ridiculous. That thing's all wheel drive and it handles decently well and it's got good acceleration and top speed. It would take a lot for a car to beat that in the class. Let's 
see coming out of a corner for it. Not as much understeer as a Segoy when you come off a corner. It is very, very skippy though. I don't know how, how to describe it. It's very, uh, the back end coming out there a little bit. Got the interior from the, like, SUV slash Coquette. That's him too. That's, uh, that's different. Brakes, oh my gosh. Yeah, the brakes aren't that great. Let's go, let's go a high speed and then slam on the brake. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there's the understeer. <laughs> okay, I, wanna, I don't want to do it going uphill. Here we go. Brakes. They're, they're okay. Not bad. Eh. I think the issue is when you're going over a bump at the same time that you slam on the brakes, that's when your issue comes into play. It doesn't feel that fast. <laughs> it doesn't feel that, that as crazy as I thought it would. I mean, obviously it's an older car, you know, it's a Civic from 90s, late 90s. So, I mean, it's not, you know, anything crazy. Not bad. Um, it, it's okay. I think it's, for the most part, I think the really the saving grace of this is the customization. It is very, very good. Um, the handling is okay. I actually prefer the way this drives more than the Segoy. I feel like the Segoy is a little more difficult to drive, more of a handful. Uh, let's go ahead and open up all the doors. Let's see. All right, everything opens up. Nice. That looks crazy. We got the inline floor. Wow, look at all the tubing and everything. And that turbo, the way they did everything, very detailed. Got the strut brace. Wow. That looks really good. That's a really tiny battery. <laughs> it's like a battery for like a motorcycle. <laughs> wow. Not bad. Hatch opens up. Not bad. Not bad at all, Rockstar. I think they did a good job. Uh, for the money, um, if you get the trade price, I think it's worth it. Over 500000 without the trade price, I think that's a little excessive, but in the 400s, I don't think it's too bad, all things considering, you know, considering the prices of everything else in the game. Um, not bad at all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if, if any of you are going to be buying it. Um, I think it's a decent, I think it's a good purchase. I mean, and if you don't like it later on, you can just sell it and get most of your money back, so not bad at all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.